Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today, near the end of June, we have an article for you、uh, for those of us who use computers, and these days that's nearly everyone. Except、uh, you. <laughs> well, actually, he does. He does. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> I kind of don't, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask someone to help me turn it on, but after that, it's not so, not so bad. You、okay. turn your computer off. <laughs> <laughs> I kick it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay.、Uh, today we talk about mastering your search engine skills. So most of you know these things anyway, but now you'll know them in English. Yeah. 好，那我们的中文标题是超实用 Google 搜寻技巧 All right. I'll read through this, and I want to、uh, warn you ahead of time. We'll finish the program with some questions. I think it's three questions at the end of the program, and we'll be taking notes. So、uh, listen carefully. It happens to all of us. You type something into Google's search bar and hit enter. Much to your disappointment, however, the results aren't what you're looking for at all. Sound familiar? Then you could benefit from the following search skills. One. Use quotation marks for essential text. Help Google make a better guess and filter out less relevant results by telling it an exact word or phrase that the website must contain. For example, type "love poems" quote roses unquote quote sunflowers unquote if you want to find a love poem that mentions. Mentions roses and sunflowers. Without the quotation marks, some results might only contain roses or sunflowers, not both. Two. Use a hyphen to exclude certain words. The opposite of quotation marks, hyphens will tell Google to ignore content with those words. For instance, if you want to search for Paris landmarks aside from the Louvre Museum, then type Paris landmarks hyphen Louvre. Three, use an asterisk for missing words. Are you searching for a popular phrase or quote, but you don't know one or more words? This trick will help. Imagine you remember a song line that goes, "It moves us all through something and something." Just replace each something with an asterisk, hit enter, and Google will pull up the lyrics to the famous Lion King song, with the missing words despair and hope. Four, use site plus colon, and that's what it looks like when you type it. The word site with the colon immediately after it to search specific websites. If you want Google to show you news about a recent earthquake, but only from Taiwan News, enter earthquake site colon taiwannews dot com dot tw. You'll see that all the results are only from that website. Give these tips a try, and you'll be a search engine pro in no time. Okay, so it happens to all of us. This is a simple, succinct sentence that says <laughs> we are all human beings and we all have this problem. Okay, we see the title. It happens, or it happens to all of us. That this sentence in Chinese is we will have such a thing. Such a thing will happen in our lives. The meaning is that you type something into Google's search bar and hit enter. I don't know how I can explain that. 嗯，好，那其实就是很简单啊。You type something into， 就是你输入一些东西，你打一些东西到你的电脑啊。在这里其实不止打到电脑，打到哪里去呢？你输入或者打字的地方是 Google 它的 search bar， 就那个 Google 它的搜寻框。然后呢 ，you hit enter 啊 ，hit 本来是敲击的意思啊，敲下或者是打一下，但在这里呢，就是按下去的意思。你按下去那个 enter 那个键叫做 hit enter。Much to your disappointment, however, if something is to your disappointment, it disappoints you. And much to your disappointment is like a stronger way of saying you're very disappointed. 
So, much to your disappointment, however, the results aren't what you're looking for at all. You didn't get what you were looking for. Sigh. Okay. 好，所以 to your disappointment 就是让你很失望啊。那 much to your disappointment 就让你很失望的是 ，however 啊，就是你按下去那个搜搜寻键的。但是呢，让你很失望的是 ，the results 出来的结果 aren't 不是啊 ，what you're looking for 不是你在找的东西。那 at all 那 not 什么什么 at all 就是根本不是的意思。所以你很失望，因为你这样子搜寻出来的结果呢，根本不是你在找的东西。Sound familiar? Uh, this is sort of a rhetorical question. The person who wrote this question expects that, of course, this has happened to you. It happens to everyone, and if that's the case, then you could benefit from the following search skills. It's a way for the person to introduce the uh, the topic、uh, of what we're going to talk about with search engine skills. 好，所以 sound familiar. 听起来很熟悉吗？啊，那这个其实是个自问自答的。好，那当然就是意思就是你大概应该有这样的经验了、啊。然后呢，他说如果听起来很 familiar 的话，很熟悉的话 ，then 那么 you could 就是你可能啊 ，you could benefit from 就是受益啊，得到收获。从哪里得到收获？从哪里得到益处呢？从 the following 就是底下的这个 search skills。搜寻技巧上面啊，那你可以得到一些收获，就是你可以从这里学点东西，可以用到。So our first search skill number one is to use quotation marks for essential text. So if you look in、um, in our article here, they're showing you one example of quotation marks. If they're not if they're not double quotation marks, if they're single ones, it's still called a quote, right? It's just a single quote or a double quote. It's usually a, if it's single quotes, it's usually within a quote. Yeah, or it's marking off a single word. So they want you to use double quotation marks here, not single ones, because this is the symbol that will tell the computer what you're looking for. So this double two, this pair of double quotes, this quotation marks, if you put it around your essential text, like the words that absolutely have to be there, and also the words that absolutely have to be together. That's another thing. You should put it around a word or around a phrase. So if you definitely have to say. The most prestigious flower, and it cannot be any other phrase. Then you put the quote first, then the most prestigious flower, and then the end quote. But if you only need to have the word prestigious and not that whole sequence of words, then just put the quotes around prestigious. And this will do what? It will help Google make a better guess and filter out less relevant results by telling it an exact word or phrase that the website must contain. So the computer goes, oh, you need these things to be together, or you need this exact word. Okay, let me get rid of, let me filter out the things you don't need, the less relevant results. If something is relevant, it's meaningful to you, or useful to you, or、uh, related to your search. So it will filter out the things that are less meaningful or less related, less relevant. 好，所以第一个技巧就是你要用引号，而且是双引号 quotation marks。好，那里面呢放什么东西？放 essential text。essential 就是原来是极重要的意思。那在这里就是一定要有的，而且事实上还要按照这样的一个顺序啊，这些字是按照这样的顺序来排列的啊。这是双引号，有这样的意义，就是要去电脑去搜寻这几个字，而且是这样排列的这几个字。然后呢，这样做可以干嘛呢？底下他告诉你 ，help 就是你要帮 Google make a better guess， 让他做出更好的猜测。然后呢 ，help Google， 你要帮 Google 怎么样 ？filter out 就是过滤掉，那个 out 就是丢掉。你要帮 Google 过滤掉 less relevant results。less relevant 就是比较不相关，也就是相关性较低的 results 搜寻结果。那你怎么样可以帮电脑、帮 Google 做出更好的猜测，然后过滤掉相关性较低的一些结果呢？ By, 你可以透过这样的动作啊，也就是这个双引号的动作啊，你就可以告诉他怎么样 ，telling it an exact word， 一个确切的字或者 phrase 或者是啊一个词啊。其实 word 如果讲中文的 word， 其实是个词的意思啊。所以你把这个要的词，确切的词啊，或者确切的一两个呃，大概两个字以上才有意义了，好吧？放在那个 quotation marks 里面。那
这样的 exact word 或者 phrase 是怎么样呢？是 the website must contain 这个 website 就是指你找到的那个 website， 就电脑去搜寻到的 website， 它一定要 contain 包含。确切的这几个字啊，或者是那个词啊，按照这样的顺序，那这样的话，他就可以比较精确的找到你要的东西。For example, type quote love poems unquote quote roses unquote quote sunflowers unquote if you want to find a love poem that mentions roses and sunflowers. Okay, so here's an example. You can try this at home. For example, type. And then what you want to type is with the quotation marks the phrase "love poems," and then we say "unquote quote unquote" when you have a pair of quotes. Then again, "quote roses unquote," a space without the word "and," "quote sunflowers unquote." If you type all of that,、uh, that means you want to find a love poem that mentions roses and sunflowers.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以例如你要找一首诗，那个诗有提到 mentions， 有提到啊，而且你要找的是情诗 a love poem， 它里面有提到啊 roses， 还有 sunflowers 这些东西的话呢，那你就在这个 quotation marks 啊，不在那个它的 search bar 里面打上第一个 quotation marks 啊，里面放这样这个 love poems， 或者是放单数其实也可以啊，因为它有的时候可能会说有一首诗它含有 roses 跟 sunflowers， 然后它是一个 love poem 啊，所以它也是单数，所以 love poems 或者 love poem 啊都可以。那我个人的经验是，你在搜寻的时候，其实你两个都要试啊，因为现在 Google 的搜寻其实没有以前那么强啊。现在有的时候你叫他找什么，他可能找出来的东西不是你要他找的，就算你给他这些指令啊，这我个人的经验呢、啊。所以 love poems 或者 love poem 你都去找，你可能会有不同的结果。好，然后呢 ，roses 跟 sunflowers 啊，这里是告诉你，你把它放在 quotation marks 里面啊。不过我个人的经验是，你不放 quotation marks， 你只要你是单个别的字的话，反正他就会去找这个字啊，他就会找 roses， 他就会去找 sunflowers 这个字啊。所以 sunflowers 跟 roses 要不要放在 quotation marks 里面？这个我个人的经验是可以不用放。好，应该是两个字以上的，你才需要放 quotation marks 啊，告诉他我要找的就是特定的这几个字这样的一个顺序。那如果是一个字的话，你只要打到那个 search bar 里面，它就会去找了啊。那当然，这是我个人使用经验。那我觉得很有趣的是，好像有的人使用经验也跟我不一样啊。不过呢，这个大家都可以去参考。你的 quotation marks 最有利益的地方就是两个字，像 love poems 啊，那你就可以打进去，它就会去找有 love poems 这两个字放在一起的这种网站。那这个东西，这种用法其实一个特别有用的用法是，你在你写了一个英文，你不知道对不对的时候，你可以把这那几个打进去啊，看看有没有这样的写法啊。例如说 ，the opposite of something， 你如果写说 the opposite from 啊，你就打 the opposite from 放在 quotation marks 里面去找，大概是找不到的，因为 the opposite from 我不我 I'm not sure 哈、啊。Yeah, this is much more useful for phrases like you're saying to try to find out if this phrase exists. 对啊，所以例如说你不太确定这个一个英文你这样写对不对，你就把那几个字哈、啊、放在这个 quotation marks 里面看有没有这样的一个结果出来。I use this a lot actually. 对啊。I see which one has more results, and I go, oh, this one has zero results, or this one has like three, and they're all from like websites in the Philippines. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this one has sixteen thousand. So、mm, this one is much more likely the common expression. Yeah, 那这个其实讲到用电脑搜寻呢，其实还有很多要注意的事情啊。那我们没有时间讲，但是有一个很重要，就是你搜寻到的不一定表示是对的。啊，就是表示有人这样用，但不一定表示是对的英文，也不一定表示是好的英文，但是它可以给你参考。So without the quotation marks, some results might only contain roses or sunflowers, but not both. 好，那如果没有啊，各位注意 ，without 这个后面是一种假设语气，所以各位看到 without the quotation marks， 如果你不放在这个 quotation marks 的话 ，some results 有一些结果 might， 各位这个是假设语气啊，它可能只包含 roses 啊，或者是 sunflowers， 那 not both 不会说这两个都含在里面。Okay, two try this one. Use a hyphen to exclude certain words. Uh, exclude is to keep out or keep away, prevent from. Hmm. That you use a 连字号可以 exclude 排除啊 
certain words 某一些字啊。那这个看起来是连字号，不过呢，这个理解上面你可以把它想成是减号，你把它减掉，就是我不要这个东西。Yeah, it's like a minus sign, not a hyphen in my mind. Yeah， 我也是觉得这个应该是个减号哈。不过它看起来跟连字号一样了哈，在电脑上打起来是同一个。It's the exact. The mark is called the hyphen, and we use it as a minus sign when we enter mathematics by keyboard. So. Oh, OK. 哈，对，所以这个像键盘上面的连字号跟减号是同一个键啊，它同样都，它也是连字号，也是减号。不过你可以把它想成是个减号。A rose by any other name.、Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the opposite of quotation marks, hyphens will tell Google to ignore content with these words. So the quotation marks are like it's got to have this, and hyphens mean please don't have this. Hmm. 好，所以呢 ，the opposite 啊、哦，这个是个分词构句哈、哦。Being the opposite of， 那 being 省略掉了啊、哦，也就是主要词句的主词 hyphens， 它是 the opposite of quotation marks。所以这个 hyphens 哈、哦，就这个减也其实我们叫是也是减号了。它是怎么样？是这个 quotation marks， 它的正好是完全相反啊、哦。那这个 hyphens 它会告诉 Google 呢，要 ignore， 要忽略到啊，忽略掉。Content 就是搜寻到了网站的内容 with those words， 所以他只要找到这个网站里面含有这些字，他就不要了，因为这是要剪掉，我不要这些字。For instance, here's another example. If you want to search for Paris landmarks, landmarks are very famous structures、uh, in a city or country. Aside from other than the Louvre Museum, which is the most famous museum in France, then type Paris landmarks, and then depending on what you want to call it, hyphen or minus Louvre. 好，那所以呢，例如啊，如果你要找啊 ，search for 那个 for 表示你的目标。你如果找的是巴黎的地标啊，但是呢 ，aside from 就不要啊，就除了这个罗浮宫之外的地标，那你怎么打呢？你就打 Paris landmarks， 然后呢，减掉啊那个 minus， 或者是你把它看成 hyphen 也可以。好，减掉这个 Louvre 这个罗浮宫。Number three, use an asterisk for missing words. An asterisk is that like little floating star that's on the eight key. And I find this one, this of these four functions, I find this is the one I use the most. Ah, so this is very good to use. Ah, that you can use a asterisk for missing words, which is missing words. You are not sure this place is what word, or you want to see how many possible words are there. Ah, then you use an asterisk for missing words. Are you searching for a popular phrase or quote? But you don't know one or more words. Well, many of us are like this.、Uh, maybe you want、uh, lyrics from a song, words from a quotation, or from a poem, and you just remember part of it, not all of it. Hmm. 好，所以你是不是在寻找 ？Are you searching for 一个 popular phrase， 一个流行语啊，或者一个 quote， 或者是某人说的话？但是呢，你不知道其中的 one or more words， 你不知道其中的一个或者更多的字呢？ This trick will help. This one quick trick. Hmm. <laughs> that this trick 就是这个技巧，那也就这一招 will help， 就是会有帮助的。它能帮你忙。Here's an example. Imagine you remember a song line that goes, "It moves us all through、mm, something and something." <laughs> you know, you're missing two words, and、uh, if you type this, let's find out what happens. 嗯，好，所以呢，你可以想象一下，你记得一个 a song line 就是一个呃歌词哈、啊。那这个歌词有另外一个字 lyrics 哈、啊、，l y r i c s。可是 lyrics 好像指的是全部的歌词哈、啊、，the words of a song。那你如果要讲，好像也可以说 a line of lyrics 也可以。嗯，啊，那但这里这个说法比较更简单 ，a song line 啊，有一条有一行歌词呢 ，that goes 是这样唱的，那个 goes 就是这样唱的，这样就是。呃，是这样进行的啊，也那在这里就是是这样唱的，或者的歌词是这样写的啊。It moves us all， 它啊带着我们所有的人都怎么样 ？Through 经过什么跟什么？那那个什么跟什么？等一下我们就会讲，你就可以用星号来代替。So just replace each something with an asterisk. So you would write it moves us all through asterisk and asterisk. Mm. Using the little star, of course, not the word. Then you hit enter, and Google will pull up. It will find the information and put it up on your screen. And we say pull up. It will pull the information up to your screen. It will pull up in this case the lyrics to the famous Lion King song, 
with the missing words despair and hope. And if you just want to find all of the lyrics to the Lion King song, you just write Lion King lyrics, and then Mm -hmm. all of the Lion King songs will come up. But if you know the specific song, say the name of the song, and then lyrics, and then you can get Mm -hmm. the lyrics. There's a lot of sites that like to have the lyrics for you. Also, make sure you put the title of the song in quotation marks. Uh, Yeah, I don't really find that I need to do that. But Uh if you really can't find the lyrics for that particular song, then Mm -hmm. do put it in quotes. Yeah, Yeah. 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 Replace A with B, 啊, 就是把A取代掉, 啊, 用什么来取代呢? 用B来取代, 很多人还搞不清楚到底是A, Google just pull up, just la chu lai, we chow chu lai, ah, to the girls, the lyrics to, to in the chess, the lyrics to the famous Lion King ah, song. Ah, then, then, with, just the full day, the situation, it will find the missing words, the, you don't know the words, ah, the difference is despair and hope. Okay, now let's look at our fourth and last search engine skill. Use site plus colon. And you can see it'll be the word S-I-T-E, immediately the colon, no space, to search specific websites. If you're looking for a website to help you find information, try this. 好,所以呢,怎么办呢?你可以用这个site后面加上一个冒号,好,这样子你可以search,搜寻specific,特定的一些网站。so if you want Google to show you news about a recent earthquake, but only from Taiwan news, then this is what you do. You enter earthquake site colon taiwannews.com.tw. So you enter the, the thing you want to know about, which is earthquake, and then you use this site um, command to tell Google that you're using, you want only news from this one specific website, which is taiwannews.com.tw. 好,所以呢,如果你要Google給你看一些新聞,是關於一個最近的地震,但是你只希望從台灣news這個網站上面看到最近地震的新聞的話,那你就打這個earthquake,然後呢,空一個打site冒號台灣news.com.tw,這樣
And the answer is presidential election site colon no space www.cnn.com. Or you could also write presidential election site colon cnn.com because you don't need the www. 嗯哼，好，那我个人的习惯，我会建议你这个 presidential election 也放在 quotation marks 里面，这样找出来会更准确。嗯、yeah. mm. ，因为他这样找出来就是按照他的顺序 presidential election。你如果不放在 quotation marks 里面的话，他可能会先出现前面出现一个 election， 后面出现一个 presidential。Right, exactly.、Mm-hmm. And so then the second one is Jasmine is looking for a cake recipe that must include soy milk. So she would write cake recipe and then quote soy milk unquote. I would actually write soy milk cake recipe and then I would get the I would get it without needing to put any quotes. But your mileage may vary. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually every person's search habit is different. Okay, that's here you can do this. So if I were you, I would write the cake recipe and put it in quotation marks. Then, soy milk, put it in quotation marks. Okay, actually, all kinds of search methods, you only need to know the use of quotation marks. You can try it. Okay, actually, all kinds of search methods, you only need to know the use of quotation marks. You can try it. Okay, actually, all kinds of search methods, you only need to know the use of quotation marks. You can try it. Actually, sometimes I just like to list the ingredients I have on hand and then put recipe at the end and see what I get. <laughs> so、yeah. I'll be like orange almond flour sugar recipe, and they'll be like, "How would an orange almond flour cake?" And I'm like, "Good, let's look at that." <laughs>、mm, yeah. Okay, and number three, this mark is used when you go blank on some words in a saying. By blank, the missing part with this mark in the search bar, you'll probably find the words you've forgotten. 好，那这一大题啊，是希望你要，他是要你从文章里面选一个单字啊，那填入下列句子的空格，而且你必须要看它的文法啊，视其语法，要做一些适当的字形变化，让句子的语义更完整啊，语义，而且语法要正确，而且是符合全文的文意。那刚刚 Bruce 讲这个题，这一个题目就是，当你想不起来一句谚语中的几个字的时候，你就可以用到这一个符号。那透过这个符号，你可以怎么样？缺少的部分。啊，你很可能就可以找到你忘掉的那个字啊，所以这个地方我们要填什么字呢 ？The word would be replacing. By replacing the missing part with this mark in the search bar, you'll probably find the words you've forgotten. 好，所以我们要的是取代这个字，取代缺少的部分，那你就很可能可以找到这个字。Okay, that's it for today's lesson. We will be back with you though in just a few more days, and、uh, we're looking forward to that, and hope you are too. Till then. Bye bye.